up y'all it's your girl jasmine and i'm back with another video in this video we will be doing this cute hairstyle that i found on instagram i am going to attempt to do this on myself and yeah it's very easy this is very beginner friendly you could definitely do this at home so for this half up half down half up half down style i'm going to start off with a part by my ears just separating the back of my hair so that I can um, add the extensions in the back. So we will be doing this as a quick weave. And again, it is very quick and easy to do. Um, so I am starting off by that, making that part by my ears and I'm gonna separate the top of my hair and begin braiding down the back of my hair. I am using Shine and Jam Conditioning Gel, the yellow one. And I am just gonna put some quick cornrows in the back and then you'll see me use a crochet needle to make sure that everything is secure back there before I add my cap. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you're subscribed. We drop videos here every Sunday at noon and you can see what's popping at the Pretty Lounge. Just stay tuned for this video. I will come back in, you know, just to help you um, along this process if you are trying to do this at home. Again, it is very easy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what you need. So you're gonna need two packs of hair from your local beauty supply store. I just got some regular pack hair. Um, the pack hair was buy one, get one free. So that was perfect for me because <laughs> I wasn't trying to wear this hair that long. So I got two packs of hair. I got some Shine and Jam conditioning gel just to help me braid down the back of my hair. I will be using Wonder Weave um, Quick Weave Solution. It's kind of like Morning Glory. You basically put it on the back of your hair or wherever you're gonna be gluing tracks in and it helps to make sure that your hair is protected um, while using that glue. And then you'll also need a black cap and like three hair bows. You'll also need um, some holding spray. I like to use the Even Extra Hold Adhesive Spray in the black can. When I tell y'all that spray has some serious hold, be careful, you don't need that much because baby, your hair gonna be stuck. Y'all remember the Gorilla Glue Girl? Don't be like her, okay? Just use a little bit of the spray. You don't need that much. It will be stuck to your head. And you'll need some hair bows. So as you can see, I'm finished braiding down the back of my hair. Um, I have secured the ending piece of my hair with a crochet needle, and I just crocheted my hair inside of itself so that no pieces were hanging out. I'm gonna place that black cap on top of my hair, and I'm gonna cut out the part where my ponytail will be so that the back of the cap is laying flat to my cornrows. You don't want there to be no extra gap or space or anything. So that way that solution that you're using can adhere to your hair. And, you know, to just be a seamless back part to your hair. <laughs> so make sure you cut out the hole for your ponytail. As you can see now, I'm using a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Because you only want to put this stuff on the part where you're going to be gluing your tracks. You don't want to get it on your hair where you're going to be forming the ponytail. Only put it at the back where you're gonna be gluing tracks. And the good thing about this solution is it's water reactive. So once I'm ready to take this out, literally all I have to do is stick my head up under some water and that whole back piece of my hair will come off. Love that. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Make sure you get you some of that before you're gluing tracks to your head. So as you can see, the back part is now dry. I was doing this video, you know, in segments while I was at the shop with clients. So it is now evening time and I'm gonna go ahead and finish my hair. So I sat up under the dryer maybe for like 10, 15 minutes to make sure that, that back part was dry after I applied the solution on the back part. Make sure it is dry before you start adhering your tracks. Sit up under a dryer, use a blow dryer, just make sure the back is dry. And you'll know when it's dry because it'll form like a casing over the back of your head. So I am pre-measuring these tracks as I lay them in the back because I don't want any extra, you know, you don't want any tracks where you don't want tracks. So pre-measure, put the glue on the track and then, you know, put it to your head. Um, I am using a blow dryer in between tracks just to make sure that the glue is actually drying to my hair. You don't want a bunch of wet tracks as you're continuing to stack those tracks in the back. So just blow dry in between just to make sure that we are actually, you know, drying the glue to that back part of your hair. So yeah, there I am using the blow dryer. <laughs> Um, and I keep checking to make sure, you know, that I'm not putting the hair where it doesn't need to go. It's very important that you don't adhere tracks to where they don't need to go. They only need to be in that back section, um, that lower half section. And what we're going to do is we're going to mold our hair basically over that. So that final track at the back, you won't even see it. So don't worry about it. Um, 
so yeah just stay tuned um, I am do 3d parting in the front um, and you'll see me do that here in just a second but this style is super cute uh, I wore it for my anniversary weekend and baby it was a hit like it was it went with my dress perfectly it's a very cute quick and easy hairstyle um, the hair that I used was called Pink Avenue. Again, it was buy one, get one free at my local beauty supply store. So that was perfect for me. I got a 12 inch and a 14 inch. I put the 14 inch at the back and then I used the 12 inch pack for the ponytail that I made into like a little bun. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned. Again, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I love, our family is growing here on YouTube. Like shouts out to y'all. Um, you know for just joining the pretty lounge family and again if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe to the channel we drop videos every sunday at noon where you can see what's popping at the pretty lounge creating those two parts to give me like that 3d parting look you know that all the girlies are doing right now on instagram with their ponytails and stuff like that so i am just going in and i am making sure that those parts are clean because you want them to be defined so you can see them um, and then what i'm going to do is use that lace adhesive holding spray and i'm going to mold back the sides first um, just spraying some on there brushing it back um, just so I can get that defined part on both sides and then I'm going to also mold the top back into a ponytail.
mold it is slicked back okay and now we're gonna take our other track and just attach it to make a ponytail so if you watch my videos you know I do this the easy way I'm gonna just take the end of the track separate it from the rest of the track and then just rubber band or a ponytail holder that part to my ponytail and then just begin wrapping that track that's the easiest way to do a ponytail yes your hair will be exposed in the middle um, but for this style that's okay because I'm gonna have it in a bun anyway so I am just wrapping, 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 wrapping that around to create a ponytail. I am going to use the ending part of that track to secure it, but I'm not necessarily, I don't really care if it's um, slicked around the ponytail, like, you know, for the, to cover the band. Um, I don't really care for that. So um, I'm just going to do it, but we're, you're not going to see it. So I'm just going to do it very loosely. I'm going to just, you see, I'm taking it right now. I'm just wrapping it around that ponytail. And yeah, it doesn't really matter what it looks like because you're going to make it into a, um, a bun. making my fan bun so we're gonna go back and curl that piece in just a second um, but right now I'm about to lay my edges I am using the pretty lounge edge control it is the best there is no flaking it does not turn white um, it does not get caked up on itself um, you literally are wear it for a whole day the next day your edges will just look like they need to be relayed again it doesn't get gunky or anything like that so if you haven't tried the pretty lounge edge control head over to the pretty lounge.com and order yourself some pretty lounge edge control I promise you you will not regret the purchase it is top tier edge control um, so I am you know, just make sure my edges are laid. I got that ponytail in the back flipped up into a fan bun, um, just like the picture from Instagram. And yeah, I'm just gonna go in and do a little flip up method. This hairstyle is super cute. Again, it is super easy to do at home. Um, total time, it probably took me maybe like an hour, maybe like an hour and a half to do this style. I did start off with shampooed and blow dried hair. Um, if you need to flat iron your hair before you get started, I would do that just so it's not bulky. Um, just go ahead and do a light press on your hair and then continue, you know, parting it, you know, gluing the tracks in the back and then molding the front down. Um, this style lasted me about two weeks before I was just ready to take it out. I really wanted to redo the front of my hair because it's been hot here in North Carolina. It is hot, okay? So I was sweating a little bit. The front was getting a little, uh I wanted to rewash it, but I was like, you know what? Let me just do another hairstyle. So I took it out, but it did last me about two weeks. You probably could get a little bit more of a wear out of it if you redo the front of your hair. So if you want to do that, I would suggest like, you know, just washing the top of your hair. Don't get no water on the back of your hair because that casing that you put over your hair will release once water, you know, gets to it. So just be careful if you want to redo the top, just only wash the top of your hair. But as you can see, I'm taking this flat iron. I'm just flipping up my ends. I love this look. You know, it's real cute. And I made sure to also flip back um, the hair that's in the fan bun to create, you know, just that cute, you know, we got some curls, you know, that little curl on the end. But yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, let me know that you like this type of content. Let me know that this video was helpful for you. If it wasn't helpful for you, let me know what I could have did better. Um, I am trying to make sure that I, you know, put enough detail into the video so that way you can do this at home because in reality you can't do this at home. Um, another alternative if you don't know how to corn roll for the back of your hair is you really could just slick it down into a bun and then again put that casing over it. You won't be able to tell that it's a bun back there if you don't know how to corn roll. But this right here is the final look. Let me put my lip gloss on so I can show y'all what I'm working with, you know. Um, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can see what's popping at the Pretty Lounge. I will see y'all next week. Thank you for tuning in. All my love goes out to you and the Pretty Lounge family.
Peace, y'all. Peace, peace, peace.